Pico County leaders voted tonight to approve the construction of a four story cancer center at Henrico's doctor's hospital. Now, many say the medical center will help save a lot of lives, but more people say it will be a major disruption to theirs. Our Chelsea Rarick was at tonight's meeting. Chelsea. Well, good evening, Candace. This has been a hot button issue for many people for months now. Now, although the county super, the Henrico County Board of Supervisors did approve this rezoning plan, there were still many people here tonight very passionate about this issue, many against them building this near their homes. Now, as we reported, the plan went to build a is to build a four story cancer center near the old, near the three chopped elementary school on that land there. Now, those who live nearby say this would be like you mentioned a big disruption to the area and they have fear that their property would go down. They also have some concerns of the safety of the children at that school. Now on the other side, those who do support this cancer treatment center say that this would be a great thing for the area. Here's what they had to say. I desperately need this center and I need it for the thousands of people in this county and that's where we treat. The number one barrier to cancer care is not money, it's proximity to care. This is for the good of the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people in Henrico County that will be stricken with cancer this year. Well, we're horrified and we're still angry. Um, I mean, their pockets are so deep. The corner of Three Chopped and um, Forest has a business park in it where all of the buildings are half empty. We don't understand why they couldn't purchase some property over there. Now, those against the plan also tell me that they felt like a, a decision was already made, that no one really listened to them. However, the Henrico County Board of Supervisors did unanimously approve this rezoning plan. Working for you in Henrico County tonight, I'm Chelsea Warrick for CBS 6 News. Chelsea, thank you.